It can be hard balancing taking care of kids, senior loved ones, and yourself. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. There's a reason 29 million families have turned to Care.com. Find background-checked sitters, nannies, and senior caregivers who can help with everything from watching kids after school to senior meal prep. Whether you need full-time, part-time, or even occasional help, you can view rates and book highly rated caregivers that fit your budget and schedule. Get the help you need with Care.com. On today's Smart 7, Keir Starmer hits the road, Donald Trump has a meltdown, and much more. It's Thursday, 29th of August, it's Lemon Juice Day, and happy birthday, Liam Payne. The Smart 7. It's news, but not the news. After grim warnings about the impending austerity reboot, Prime Minister Keir Starmer headed off on a little European road trip on Wednesday. He began in Germany as part of a mission to reset the UK's relationship with Europe, but still avoiding the question of Brexit. He met with Chancellor Olaf Scholz and revealed they're planning a treaty which will improve cooperation on trade, defence and on illegal immigration. A new UK-Germany treaty, a -a once-in-a-generation chance to deliver for working people a new agreement a testament to the depth and potential of our relationship. His German visit was followed by a trip to Paris to attend the opening of the Paralympic Games, and he hinted that there might be some future agreement for the Youth Mobility Exchange, although Numbed at 10 had previously ruled it out. The German Chancellor was warmly welcoming of the potential reset between the two countries and congratulated Starmer on his election victory. Germany and the United Kingdom are good friends, close partners and trusted allies. The both of us will be working hard to ensure that this relationship will continue to thrive. The grim warnings of hard times to come from Prime Minister Keir Starmer on Tuesday have brought the October budget into sharp focus. Chancellor Rachel Reeves was quizzed on Wednesday about what she had in mind, with a focus on whether or not both capital gains tax and inheritance tax might be cranked up in a bid to fill the £22 billion hole in the public finances. She wasn't giving much away, though. We're going to have to make difficult decisions in a range of areas. On spending, on welfare and tax, we're going to have to make a series of difficult decisions. Uh, But I'll set out that detail in the right and proper way on the 30th of October at that budget. Dame Claire Moriarty is the chief executive of Citizens Advice for England and Wales. And she says despite the threatened austerity, the government needs to review its plan to cut the winter fuel payments. We do believe that um, there are systems that could be put in place to make sure that uh, targeted support uh, is available. We recognise that the government has inherited a big problem, but it needs action now. Donald Trump had a full-on meltdown on social media on Wednesday evening, posting QAnon memes, which included demands that Barack Obama be tried by a military tribunal for unspecified crimes. He's furious that Special Prosecutor Jack Smith has lodged what is called a superseding injunction in the January 6th election interference case. Smith has trimmed down his case, removing any elements that would conflict with the Supreme Court immunity ruling and is pushing for a speedy trial. Trump had hoped that his legal troubles might have been at an end after the Supreme Court intervention, but CNN legal analyst Norm Eisen says it's really important that Trump face justice for his actions around the 2020 election. Jack Smith with a new superseding indictment less than 70 days away from the election has reminded everybody Donald Trump is alleged to have engaged in very serious 2020 election interference. Will he do it again in 2024? Ukraine continued to strike long-range targets in Russia on Wednesday, hitting oil depots in Kirov and Rostov. They also continued their incursion in Russia's Kursk region, as the CIA director suggested that Ukrainian forces are now building defences and appear to intend holding on to the territory gained. Russia's attacks on Ukraine's energy infrastructure this week did real damage, though, and President Zelensky continues to call for more freedom to use long-range weapons, along with more air defence systems. The UK and Germany have reaffirmed their support for Ukraine for as long as it takes, and military analyst Hamish de Breton Gordon says that despite Russia's continued push in Donetsk, Ukraine's allies are optimistic. They're in a really strong position. Of course, I think everybody in the world wants peace 
in Ukraine, uh, but peace on Ukraine's terms. And that's much vital. We are the ones, I think, that have got to lead the way here. Still to come on today's Smart 7, the Paralympics get underway in Paris and Sigourney Weaver gets emotional in Venice right after this. This summer, Instacart presents famous summer flavors coming to your front door or pool or hotel. Your grocery delivery has arrived, sir. That was faster than room service. No violins in the lobby. Oh, seriously? Anyway, sit back, relax, and get delivery in as fast as 30 minutes. Starring your favorite snacks, drinks, and more. Download Instacart for free delivery on your first three orders. Rated H for hungry audiences. Offer valid for a limited time. Minimum $10 per order. Excludes restaurants. Additional terms and fees apply. Welcome back. There were seven games in the second round of the Carabao Cup on Wednesday evening with two penalty shootouts. The first saw Newcastle through after a scare against Nottingham Forest, while AFC Wimbledon knocked out Premier League new boys Ipswich and progressed to the third round. Meanwhile in Paris, the opening ceremony of the Paralympic Games got underway. The Games run until Sunday the 8th of September, with over 4,400 athletes competing across 22 sports. The UK has sent Paralympic GB's 215 athletes to compete in 19 of those sports, with hopes of beating the one 124 medal total they achieved in Tokyo. The chef de mission for Paralympics GB is Penny Briscoe and she says everyone can't wait to get started. Our athletes are fit, healthy, raring to go. The village is working really, really well. It's buzzing. It's the most accessible village that I've experienced and it's really easy for us to operate in as a team. The Venice Film Festival officially opened on Wednesday evening with guest of honour Sigourney Weaver. The three-time Oscar nominee is being honoured with a Lifetime Achievement Award, the Golden Lion. She was delighted to receive the award, describing it as jet fuel of encouragement and reminiscing about her big breakthrough in the movie Alien and how iconic her character Ripley became. She also had thoughts on the current US political situation and the perils that Vice President Kamala Harris is facing on her run for the White House. To think for one moment that my work would have anything to do with her rise makes me very happy actually because it's true you know i have so many women who come and thank me sorry You might never have heard of The Six Triple Eight, but it's a fascinating story. It's a new movie from director Tyler Perry, and it follows the story of US Army Corps Battalion Six Triple Eight, who served overseas during World War II. The battalion was made up of 855 women who were mainly black, and they worked to deliver mail to improve morale for troops in the field. It's an intriguing historical drama with an all-star cast including Dinah Washington, Oprah Winfrey, Susan Sarandon, and Sam Waterston. It is coming to Netflix in December. Soldiers! You must be perfect. You do not have the luxury to be good. You have the burden to be better. I need women who've had to fight to survive. A lot of people do not want us to succeed. We have the most to prove. Welcome to the Women's Army Corps. You've been listening to The Smart 7. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hit that follow button and have a great day. Let's talk about something that's not always top of mind, but still really important. Life insurance. Why? Because it offers financial protection for your loved ones and can help them pay for things like a mortgage, credit card debt. It can even help fund an education. And guess what? Life insurance is probably a lot more affordable than you think. In fact, most people think life insurance is three times more expensive than it is. So with State Farm Life Insurance, you can protect your loved ones without breaking the bank. Not sure where to start? State Farm has over 19,000 local agents that can help you choose an option to fit your needs and budget. Get started today and contact a State Farm agent or go to statefarm.com.